All right, guys, back at you again with another mystery box, box 74. Uh, this one, or sorry, gear pack box. Not box 74, mystery box. Wow, it's been a long day. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, you should. You can see why. It'll be the last little while. You see the cords and stuff in the background. It's from the last little bit of building I've been doing, putting the new addition on. So I'm really intrigued in this, considering it's a mystery box. Been a mystery in quite a while from gear pack <clears throat> as well as they're doing their new elite quarterly boxes i believe they are which i'm looking and trying to get into for for sure and here we go 74 mystery special boom there's the contents yeah everyone's box is different all right great new gear and some other past favorites Share your box on Instagram and tag us. While I'm sharing it on YouTube, you guys can see it. some of the stuff on Instagram coming up. All right, let's see what they gave me. This should be neat. Uh, let's start with the fabric-y thing. We got an extra large, looks like, black rifle coffee shirt. Oh, yeah. Canvas. Coffee or die. That's definitely me in the morning. Shouldn't be getting up at 3.30 a.m. All right, I'm gonna tuck that back into the bag. This is gonna be a neat one. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, chem light. All right, could always use more of those. Six hour orange. Very cool. Oh, well, gotta dig out one of these guys. We got another 511 folder. Nice. Got one of these, but it's always good to have another one. I'm gonna keep this one in the package. Maybe I'll do that in a giveaway or something later on. Hit like 200 subs and I'll give away that guy. Uh, what do we got? Car Milk Outdoors Lost and Found Deckle. Alright, there's the back side of it. Let's see if we can get that without glare. Okay. That's what it says. I'm just going to do register, place permanent decals on your favorite gear, experience outdoor with confidence, or decals ensure that gear is returned if lost. So it is a uh, way of tracking your gear. That's pretty damn cool. Freaking tiny too. Right? Like that's extremely thin. We can mention that, but extremely thin. What do we got here? Oh, the Ready Man Survival Card. It's everyday carry first aid. See more at Ready Man. And these are for tourniquets, I believe. So they got the instructions there on how it would work. I don't know if I would. Uh, I'm always sketched about using tourniquets. There's no way to mark on there of what time you put it on and things like that. But that's a really cool item. We got a coffee stuff, some other stuff. What we got here? We got a six inch simple, another chem light, yellow. This one's a 30 minute chem light, which is good for a little short distance time periods. So you want to set something up. Fire starting kit. Let's open this guy up right now. Striker on the side. You got your matches inside there, and by the looks of it, yep, of course you're going to rip all that out. Roll along the life, keep it inside. They've got a little, some of these fuel tablets. I'm apologizing for the glare. These super huge matches, which I just dumped everywhere, but uh, we gotta leave those up after I'm done getting the rest of this stuff out of there. Because I know you guys are looking at probably this here Guardian folding knife, which... It, it needs to come out of there. That's, uh... Grab this guy. So, the K3 3-inch assisted opening clip knife. Assisted opening. Tactical handle, plunge lock, 
got a lanyard slot on it. And like I've said before in some of my other videos, if you want to see reviews on gear, yes, I know I still have to be the one for the carabiner. I've been using it lately to hold one of my gear bags in the truck. Works great so far. I'll do what you want on that later. And we got one of these guys. It's stiff to open, which means it pops pretty good. Uh, that was right out of out of the framing of how to do this. But there's your lock. It's a plunge lock. Closes right there. Doesn't quite click as well as some of the other ones, but this is a really neat lock mechanism. I like that. It seems like it's solid. Got a touch of wig in there. But I don't see any made in China labels on it, but you know what? They still make good stuff. This will be a neat one to test out. Matches off the ground here. Uh, let's see, we got some stuff from Gear Pack themselves by the looks of it. Looks like just a pouch of some sort, carrying case. Survival Tactical Outdoor, the best gear and hand picked. Delivered monthly at gearpack.ca. There's some good promo for them. And it's just a little drawstring bag, basically. It'd be nice to put all this stuff in when I'm done. Oh, something that was... Oh, there's a bunch of those matches. I'm really excited to see is another Sam Splint. I like those. I was almost going to order one. I'm glad I didn't. Oh! Another item from Ready Man, and this is for opening doors and stuff. This was back when the uh, that thing was going on, and they were saying to use this, and apparently it kind of works good all right like that too. So I'm wondering if it works great in conjunction with uh, this one as well. And then you, oh, hey, yeah, you could slide both those together. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. That's pretty cool. That's another ready man item. Door opener. Great for holding handles and latches and things like that. Let's grab this fire tax for if you're lost. And little symbols so they catch light and stuff like that so you can uh, be seen a little bit easier and found a little bit easier if you decide to wander when you get lost, which you shouldn't do. Let's save see your PKRT till later. Uh, cordage micro tool this was a neat thing I don't know there's a few YouTube videos up on it already I didn't do one on it but this is how to turn your po plastic pop bottles into cordage it is a very very neat item good to have multiples of actually I'm glad that's in there well I'll be Viking whetstone pendant this, I, I like the bag already. Other than tough getting into it. God, this video is running long too. I'm sorry guys. But there's some cool gear. Knowing that each one of these is individual, that's, that's very cool. So, there it is. I like the look of it. Of course the leather. Here's the write-up. I'm not going to stay too long. You can pause it there if you want to read it. I'm not going to go through all of it. It was just, in, uh, Pendant was inspired by an archaeological discoveries that have been resurrected as modern relic for the Viking and all of us. So basically off of something that they found historically. Super cool. Love the idea. Love the fact that it's got its own little bag too. Alright, what are we going to dig out next here? What's this guy? What do we got here? Conflicted. A ready man playing deck. There's the entire write up. I mean, you guys can pause it, read it, go through it there. I'm going to pop and open and have a quick look at what's inside. I guarantee you there's somebody out there that's got all this stuff in videos. Like I really do. Oh, 
seven. There's some of their things. Your jokers, ace, two. So they have little letters on everything, each different type of card. With your suit up in the top corner. So you got your spades, your hearts, right, diamonds, clubs. You guys know how the, how the card deck works. Gives you something to do when you're out there and you're uh, by yourself. Whether it's playing solitaire or you got a buddy to hang out with and you're playing cards. At least it can keep your mind occupied. As well as give you some knowledge at the same time. A very, very neat item. I like those kind of things. Especially like a survival crib board would be cool to have. If anybody makes a survival crib board, let me know in the comments if you decide to comment on this thing. What else do we got here? Another ready man piece. I am not exactly sure what this is. It's a freaking sleeve of some sort that goes over something or something. If anybody knows, tell me in the comments. I think I can figure it out. Unless there's something that it matches up to in here. But I'm not quite seeing it. What else do you got? Oh. Keeping this one hidden for a special day. Some black rifle coffee. Hard to find this stuff. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that's going in the survival kit, actually, for sure. If I'm bugging out, that's going to be my last coffee. We've got some for extremes temperature, or extreme temporary external use only. Stop bleeding fast. Yeah, another great first aid item. And another thing from the Columbia Rivers Knife Tools Company. This is the Viva, designed by Loing Ma. Flat screen driver, bottle opener. Everything's a bottle opener, guys. If you don't know how to open a bottle without a piece of wood or freaking anything, everything is a bottle opener. Multi wrench, nice little ring in it, kind of like the other Ready Man thing was. So let's see. They pack this stuff so tight to make it difficult to get out. Oh, let's try this guy. Okay, and there's all of the other stuff. That it reads up on. Let's just focus that for you. Confidence in hand. Flat screwdriver, blackstone finish, bottle opener. Like I said, it fits in the hand. You know, it's it's very very nice. It's a neat little screwdriver bottle opener survival tool, I guess. You know, leave it to ready, man. Another one of their neat ones. What else do we got in here? Or no, that was Columbia River Knife Tools. And speaking of Columbia River Knife Tools, which one are we getting from them again? No way. How'd you guys know I broke this one that I have from before? So one of my first gear packs, I got this exact knife. So I still have to send it back to them. But it fell on the floor and snapped the little release part for taking it apart down. But this was supposed to have been done on a uh, WW1 or 2 design. It was a neat cutting edge. It was very cool. It worked great for cardboard and things like that if you want to just give a nice shallowish cut. He's in straight across there. You know. You get a fairly good, nice rhythm through it. So, that's everything. Mystery Box 74. I can't remember what the heck 75 was, so you guys will have to wait till it comes in then. And uh, I'm going to work on trying to get that Elite Box. So you can do the core of Elite. Apparently, it's a mystery as well. So, if it's anything like this last one, it should be pretty damn neat. Oh, yeah, that sticks in like it should. I don't like doing that with these guys. They're a little more of a workman's tool. But, uh, alright guys. Thanks for sticking around till 
the end of that. And it, like I said, if you know what the hell this thing is from Ready Man, just let me know. I have to go on their site and figure it out. Huh? It's stretchy. It's I don't know. It's definitely not a prophylactic. But. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, that kind of stuff. You probably already stopped the video anyway. Talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.